Alright, what's up guys? I just got 200 subs, so I'm doing the quality tutorial. You will need Pinnacle Studio 12 and Sony Vegas 9.0. I don't know if you need 9 or 8. It should work with both. And you'll need an S-Video cable. You can pick one up at GameStop for like 13 bucks. And I'll have links to like everything in the description. That way you can just look if you want. Alright, first you want to open up Pinnacle Studio 12. Then you want to go to Capture and just videotape or video source. Make sure you have everything hooked up before you do this too. Alright, I'm just screwing around on the PSU demo. Yeah, it's free, so why not? But you'll need these settings. Those two at default. You want sharpen all the way down. This one at default, and this one all the way up. And uh, check S video if you're using S video, and compositor if you're using composite. Then you want to go settings, capture source. Just make sure it's the dazzle. NTSC if you're in the U.S. PAL if you're in Europe. You want aspect ratio 16:9. And no auto scene detection. Capture format, you just want it AVI and best. If you want, you could go custom and just play around with the settings, but that's really it. I don't know if it does anything. But that's the best I've been using. Project preferences, use this format for new projects. NTSC progressive widescreen. And then video and audio preferences. And I don't think I messed with any of this, but I might have made this best for a preview. I'm not sure. But at your capture source, if you have lag in yours, make sure you have capture preview off. And it won't lag. That's bad. Now, it depends on how fast your computer is, really. If you got a crap computer, it'll lag pretty bad. So just close out that after you're done recording. Then you're going to want to open up Vegas. And these are the project preferences you need to use. Just make the template whatever you want to use. Should probably save it. Alright, you want the width to be 1280, height to be 720, the field order is none progressive scan, aspect ratio is 1, output rotation is 0, frame rates NTSC, pixel formats 8 bit. Full resolution rendering quality is best. Motion blur type is Gaussian. The interlace method is blend fields. Uh, check adjust source to media to better match project or render settings. And then just check start all new projects with these settings. Apply and OK. And then drag in a clip. And uh, when I get my clip, I right click on the audio and go to properties and normalize it. It just makes it louder. And then you want to click here, event pan and crop. And what you'll do is just make sure these are not checked. Turn maintain aspect ratio off. And then just drag these in until you can't see the black bars on the video anymore like there are there. So about like that, but I have my own preset. And whenever you get it in, just type in whatever. And then hit save. Like that. And then after you do that, just find whatever you want. Start it. Crap. So just start it there. Delete that. Uh, I'll do the first 20 seconds. Just split it. And then video effects. Go to the video effects tab right here. And then sometimes I use color corrector secondary. Sometimes I don't. Depends on the map. Like that. I think that's just too much. So I don't use it. 
and then color curves. But here's the settings if you want to use them. Just pause the video and copy them. And if uh, you think it's stuck in it like that, just click these here and drag it. So there's the color corrector secondary settings. Here's color curves. Just make it look like that. From the default, you'll just drag that one like that and drag that one like that. Let's see how close it looks. Yeah, it was just a little bit off, so something like that. I use that in all my videos. And I made my own deform effect. I don't I don't know. It doesn't look good in some videos, but some videos it looks really nice. Like that one it doesn't look too bad in. It just squishes it down, making it smaller. But here are the settings for that if you want to use it. Just pause it if you need to. And then scroll down, and then unsharp mask. Sometimes I use this, it really depends on the map. But there are the settings for that. Just pause it. Soft contrast. I just use soft moderate contrast. And it gives it, it just smooths everything over, I think. Makes it look a lot better. And then sharpen and reset to none. That just makes it look better. You won't be able to tell, really tell the difference with sharpen right yet until you turn it to preview auto. And then just turn it on and off, then you can tell the difference in it. But it makes a difference when it's done all the way. And that's really all the effects I use. So then you just go file, render as. And just name it whatever. And then just go custom. And you want the video format to be AVC. Frame size 128720. Don't check that. The profile's baseline. Entropy coding CAVLC. The frame rate's NTSC or 59.97. Whatever you like. I like 29.97 NTSC. It's up to you. Don't check that. You want the field order to be non progressive scan. Pixel aspect ratio is 1. And the bit rate's 10 million. Audio is AAC, 48,000, 128,000, and stereo. The system, you want MP4, because it doesn't give that big of a file size, but the quality is really good. Project, you want video rendering quality best. And then, just make it a preset, and save it. And then just save the video. Now I'm going to pause this and come back when it's done rendering. Alright guys, uh, rendering's almost done. Only took 10 minutes, and that's with Camtasia running, so ain't too bad. Alright, and then just close out of it whenever you're done. And then, right here it is, let's 20 second video and it's a 24 megabyte file so it's not too bad but now I'm gonna switch over to the Xbox and show you one of the settings that you need to have to get good quality alright and then once you get on your Xbox you need to go to the dashboard and then you need to come to the my Xbox section go all the way to the right until you come to the system settings then go to console settings, display, and then change the screen format. Make sure it's on normal. Because if it's on widescreen, it, it just looks weird because it, I don't know. 
just make sure it's on normal and then there you go